Now, in the last video, I talked about uh, the convergence of uh, Fourier series, and uh, I just want to demonstrate uh, how the Fourier series converges at the point of uh, discontinuity. I will want to take an example of a function, then obtain the Fourier series. So, the function here is uh, f of x is equals to x plus 2 uh, in the interval of x values between minus 1 and 0. Then the function has a value as a value 0 in the interval between 0 and 1. And uh, the period is 2. Now for this function uh, the Fourier series if you obtain the Fourier series, then it will be of the form uh, f of x is equals to 3 alpha 4, then plus 2 divided by pi squared, the sum from n is 1 to infinity, uh, 1 alpha 2n minus 1 squared, uh, cosine of 2n minus 1 pi x uh, then plus 1 over pi sum from n is equal to 1 to infinity we have minus 1 raised to power n minus 2 divided by n the whole of this multiplied by sine of n x. Now uh, we want to look at this series and uh, we see that uh, for this particular function the discontinuity occurs at zero. You can see the zero here, zero here. This is where we have the point of discontinuity. You see that if you find uh, the left hand limit that is, you find the limit as x approaches 0 from values that are below 0, that is from minus 1 going to minus 0 0.5 and approaching towards 0, you'll be in the interval between minus 1 and 0 where the function is defined by x plus 2. So that uh, as you approach 0, the function will be approaching a value of uh, Two. But if you are approaching zero from values that are greater than one, then uh, you'll be starting maybe from one, going to 0 0.5, going to 0 0.2, to 0 0.1, and so on. Approaching zero, in this interval, that is, you're approaching from one, going to add zero. In this case, the function is defined by zero, so that uh, the limit will be zero. So what we are saying is that uh, the limit uh, what we are saying is that uh, the limit as x approaches zero from below of this function will be equal to the limit as x approaches zero of x plus two, which is two. But if you are approaching from above the limit as x approaches 0 from above of this function uh, from values greater than uh, 0 the function has a value 0 and so this limit is 2 so sorry this limit is uh, 0 so that uh, clearly these two values are not equal and uh, you say that we have a discontinuity at that point now, we have said that uh, the function uh, will converge to the mean. So for this function, if you were to sketch, you would have something like uh, from minus 1 to 0, something that will behave like that. Then between 0 and 1, uh, 
So this will be a straight line like that. Then from 0 to 1 here, the function is 0 here. And then the function repeats. So it will be expected to repeat like that. Then 0 along this point and so on. So you'll be having, uh, a, 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 if we were to draw, you'd get uh, something of this kind. So that uh, from minus 1 to 0, we have a straight line an increasing function. Then between 0 and 1, we have the value is 1. Then uh, the function repeats and repeats and keeps repeating. It's periodic with period 2. So after every two units, it repeats. Now, we want to code this function. We want to code this function. I'll use Matra, then uh, Prot. And then we shall see for different values of n. And you see that uh, for this function, uh, f of x is 3 over 4. f of x is 3 over 4 plus the sum of these other terms. So the first term here is a constant. The first term here is a constant. That one will not be changing. But now, here we are supposed to sum from 1 to infinity. So we can consider the sum of some few terms. I will consider the summing the first five, five terms here and the five, first five terms in the second. The first five terms of this one and the first five terms of this. Then we brought. So I'm going to code this uh, in MATLAB. Uh, so I have my matrop so i have the function and then i will consider from the interval from minus one to four uh, so then i brought i consider the case where n is five so if n is n is five so n is five so that i have only the first five terms so I have the first term, which is 3 over 4, plus the 5 cosine terms and 5 sine terms. 5 sine components and cosine 5 cosine components. So when I learn that one, I'll get uh, an output here. Uh, you can see, you can see in this uh, series, we have the original function which was a straight line here then there was a discontinuity at that point a straight line zero everywhere then there is a discontinuity at three and so on but you see now if you when we consider now the series the series now gives something which is like a wave it oscillates allowed the straight line here but as you approach zero this line, the y-axis, there is a discontinuity here. The function deviates significantly. You can see the functions, the series now, represented by this curved wave. It deviates significantly and it crosses the y-axis, or rather, yeah, the y-axis at uh, y is equals to 1. It crosses the line, this is the line x is equals to 0, the y-axis. It crosses at y is equals to 1, which is the midpoint of 0 and 2. Then you say it is reached around here, along 0, and then it deviates as it approaches uh, the value 1. Now, if I increase the value of n, if I increase my n to say uh, 50, so that I have the first 50 times, I will use a, a, a green line this time, so that uh, you can see clearly. And uh, you can see this one. Um, I'm going to zoom a bit uh, for some part here, so that we don't need to see the whole diagram, but you can zoom so that we can see a small section clearly. You can see the green line now. This one oscillates. It is it is much closer now to the straight line. 
But you see, uh, as we approach the point of discontinuity here at 1, it behaves just like the other one. It deviates and closes the, the, the line x is equals to 1 at 0 0.5 here, which is the midpoint here between 1 and 0. And it behaves the same way on this other edge as you approach the this other point of discontinuity x is equals to 2. If I increase my value to my n to 100, or let me use, uh, yeah, let me use 100 now, 100, and uh, this time I'll use a, a red line, that's it different from the others. So you see, uh, you can see the red line. And let me zoom much zoom further so that it is much clearer. You can see now the red line is now very near to the straight line. It is it is not a straight line, it is still there are still some oscillations. But you see it is much, it's a better representative of the straight line. But clearly as you approach the the point of discontinuity here you see it is still deviates from uh, this line and moves up to this other point and then oscillates along the other straight line. I can continue increasing my value of uh, n, maybe to a thousand, and uh, maybe I can use a cyan, the color, that uh, maybe we can see the, dif the different lines. And you can see now the the other the other right. It's a, it's a very close now to a straight line. It looks like it looks almost like a straight line. It looks like almost close to the straight line in this section. If you if I zoom this part, you see you see the 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 first line which was black and then it is very far from this one. The red, the green line, the red, but now the cyan one is uh, very, very close to the straight line. So this is basically how it, uh, how the Fourier series converges as you increase the number of terms. And uh, you, you, you will notice that uh, as you approach the point of discontinuity here, all the lines will behave the same way, only that... Uh, if you increase the number of terms, you get a line which is a better representation of uh, the, the initial straight line. So this is basically what we mean by the convergence of the Fourier series. As you, you can see, they all cross, uh, the, they all, the, all this line cross x is equals to 1 at the same point here. At the same point here the midpoint. They all cross at the midpoint. So basically, this is what we, we, we mean by convergence of the Fourier series. And uh, we can keep uh, doing this. We can keep increasing the value of n, and you get a better line which is represent the function better and better. You see, you see the first line where we considered n is 5. This black line. But you see, as we increase the value of n, the other lines now are, are almost forming a straight line in between the point x is equals to 0 here and x is equals to 1. Similarly, here between 1 and 2, you can see in the interval here, the value is always, the, the lines are always, almost forming a straight line. It's only where this, this first line, which was black, which is uh, seems a bit uh, far from uh, the the actual straight line, but the others, as we increase the value of n, uh, we get a better and better representation. So this is how we use the Fourier series to represent uh, uh, an otherwise a function which has uh, discontinuities at several points. Now we use a function which is continuous everywhere but which can give us almost exactly the same 
the same kind of a line as the first one. So, uh, in uh, my next video, I will be talking about uh, the odd and even function and how we can find the Fourier series representation for odd and even function. Thank you for watching.